Hey everyone, welcome to this news video. It's been a little while since I did the last one and it's time to get that sorted, right? We got to 1 million views on the channel, so first of all I want to thank you for that, as usual. I really appreciate your continuous support. Obviously, this is still a slow-growing channel. We are sitting at 18,000 subscribers right now. I must say it's cool to see that people are adopting Krita more and more and hopefully we'll get more and more people to be interested in game development with open source tools. Now there's something that's more important than that. It's that the first training series dedicated to Krita is done. Completely done. There are now 6.2 hours of video tutorials that are ready and that will slowly be rolling out on YouTube week after week or they are already available in the early access version that's on Gumroad. Aside from that, there's also the um, brush set, the premium brushes for Krita that's growing month after month and now it has something like uh, 34 presets, it's uh, half an hour of exclusive tutorials and yeah, every month it's getting a bit bigger and a bit more useful as well. So that's a premium set that's on Gumroad. Another thing that's really important is um, I've been working for the past year, taking very little time off, and now it's time for me to get some rest. In October, I'm leaving for Japan. I've been learning the language over the past two years. It's, night to, it's now time to put it to good use. I'll still have a tablet and a camera, this one actually, um, to share some of the most interesting experiences I encounter with you. And um, I'll be uh, meeting a few game developers and I'll also be able to answer emails, but only occasionally, not like every comment. But there is still one more week to go before that happens. And during this week, I'm going to do a number of things. Most importantly, I have a long overdue video editing job to do. Uh, if you remember, I was invited at a meeting dedicated to open source programs in June, and I had uh, I've interviewed a an experienced developer there that has been working in open source programs for a long time. And I want to finish this video and really sit on the YouTube channel as a bonus and also uh, give it to the KDE people, as it's the 20th anniversary of KDE, which Krita is part of. So that would be nice to uh, do that little job for them. Aside from that, I've modernized the website a little, removed the useless content, and I'll be improving it a little more this week, especially the main Krita training page, but also um, the overall Navigation, I want to add a few features related to accessibility. But more importantly, I'll be working on the next training series. I have to pre-produce it properly so that when I come back to when I come back from Japan, I can produce it straight away and start. It's going to be a game art workshop. It's going to be both a series in which you will learn a great deal about creating game art. We are going to use Krita, but this will apply to any program at the same time. And it's also going to be a series in which you will learn to create your own art. You will get to create actual game assets. We are going to cover two different visual styles. One that's more cell shaded and another one that's more painterly, inspired by the Rayman games or Ori and the Blind Forest, all those types of traditional painting looking games. I hope you're excited because it's going to be a really interesting project. That said, it's time for me to tap out. Um, I wish you a pleasant day. Thank you for watching. Be creative, have fun, and until next time.